Dude, I don't even know what to... Look at this, guys. Um... <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel. I'm back here at Exotics on Market Street in the Woodlands, Texas. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's a little chilly. As always, it's going to be a really good meet. I know I always say that, but it always is, right? So I'm going to wait for a few friends right now. I'm walking in. I just got here and excuse the sunlight. I'm just being blended right now, but all for the video. Um, but yeah, no, I just got here. I've seen some really cool cars, but as always, again, let's just see what there is. All right, so I came back to the car to get some some gloves and an extra jacket because it is properly cold out here today. It's like 40 degrees and I know most of you maybe might say, oh, it's not that cold, but here in Texas and Houston, it's pretty, it's pretty dang cold. So I'm gonna keep walking back and I'm gonna wait for Chase because Chase doesn't show up. He said he'd be there around 8.30, but you know, he's not here. So I'm gonna keep waiting for him before I see anything. All right, guys, we just got out of Starbucks. We got my coffee. It took about like, a, I don't know, like a half an hour wait, but five hours. Five hours at yeah. least, yeah. But here's Chase, finally. Finally. And it's finally time to see what there is. So, I mean, you can take a quick look around right now and you can see Mustang, you got a Urus right here, Liberty Walk 458, a Gallardo, you got two turbos right here. Main thing that I came to see, which was confirmed, is a 911 Carrera GTS America. As of right now, there's only 16 in the world. There will be 115 made, but only 16 on the planet at this moment. It's absolutely beautiful. Chase getting the shots for Instagram. Do you know how to how to record? No, I don't. No, okay. But yeah, we got a black turbo right there. And this this Riviera Blue 992 Turbo S. That's that's incredible. I've seen this same turbo at a at a Porsche Club get together, and I spoke to the owner, and the owner said that they're they have every single option on this car that you can get from the factory. Every single option. They told me that the final price, including shipping, was over $350,000. This car is an absolute unicorn. Riviera Blue on, I believe, Riviera Blue interior. Exclusive manufacturer. Every option. This is simply the most beautiful turbo I've ever seen. I mean, it's, it just has to be next to this. Look at this, guys. Liberty Walk 458. I've seen a handful, but actually, hold on a second. I don't think that's Liberty Walk. It might not be, actually. I might be wrong. But just check this out. Chase, is this a Liberty Walk kit? I think so. It is looks, it? it looks, I thought it, like, it looked like a GT3 at first, but then like, I looked inside and it's like a normal interior. What I'm thinking is, it might not be a Liberty Walk though, because well, or a challenge car. Or challenge. Th that's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah, like a challenge car or something. But for... would the interior be so like normal? Yeah. It looks like a normal. I don't know. Hold on, let's do some research real quick. Quick so update cool, on the though. 458. We have no idea what it is. <laughs> we legitimately cannot find out what it is. It might be a, a might cup be. car or a GT3, but it's definitely not a Liberty Walk because we looked it up and the Liberty Walk kit has front fender flares on the front that you can see that are tacked on. This does not. This is all. This is an aftermarket fender, and not, well, I say aftermarket because I don't know what it is, but we'll find out what it is. Behind that 600 LT, we've seen that guy a few times. Got a nice Mustang there, like I said, Urus, beautiful dark red, Gallardo, black, turbo cabrio, and then the America as well. And then another angle of this awesome Riviera Blue Turbo S. Orange Urus over there, and then we got a lot more all the way down there, so I'm excited to see what there is, but... I came for the uh, the America. Everything else is just a bonus. The 430. The 430 just has a special place in my heart. Also, yes, I'm holding a coffee, so ignore that. But yeah, the 4 F430 just has a special place, man. The sound that this thing makes, the looks, I think they're just perfect. This and the 458, I think are the two best looking Ferraris ever, other than obviously, you know, like the 166 and you know, the 250, the 275. But of the modern era Ferraris, I think the F430 and the 458 are the two most quintessentially perfect Ferraris. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah. And once they started going like twin turbo with the 488, it kind of like, eh, Yeah. I, I like this. Yeah, no, it definitely it definitely lost its 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 magic. But yeah, no, the 458, beautiful. And I like it in white. Let's see. Gun metal wheels, yellow calipers. Awesome. We got another Gallardo there. We got an Artura. 718 Cayman S in Miami blue. Really nice color. We got an R35 there. 
we've seen a few of those. GT63S, and then we got Ghost GT3 here in his Python green 992 GT3 with the set R and wheels. This guy has been in probably half of my videos, but I love it. Every time I see it, I love it more. It's just such an awesome spec, man. It's just, it's out there, it's wild. Python green with yellow calipers. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful. 911 Turbo S, and we got, yo, Travis. Hey, what's up, Travis? Bro, what you doing in a, in a DB11? You're trying to warm up? One of 100 AMO DB11s. Naspery Accelerated V12 engine. Dude, yeah, this is a nice little spot this has to warm up. 10,000 miles daily driver. Oh my god. Oh, he daily drives it? Mm -hmm. Super comfortable. That's what I'm talking about, man. Oh, that's awesome. You look super good in it, man. When are you getting yours? Huracan at some point. Huracan at some point. Awesome, man. But no, yeah, check out this spec. Again, I have seen this guy a few times before. Note to self, guys, don't let Travis in your Aston. He, uh, <laughs> he seemed to have broken something off. I gotta fix it, bro. Hold on. Wait, so that's the light switch you said? Yeah. Look at that, we got a Z06 right there. He was revving a little earlier. It sounded so good. Let's see if he does another little rev. That thing sounds so good. I refuse to believe that's a Corvette. I mean, Chevrolet has finally made an attractive Corvette. Like, finally now. Finally. Finally. But yeah, that thing sounds amazing. But yeah, we were just talking to the, uh, the owner of this DB11 V12. Oh my gosh. But yeah, this is the one that Travis was sitting in and he broke the, uh, he broke the light switch. But, you know, all's well ends well. There's his Instagram, go check it out. But yeah, no, beautiful spec, guys. I mean, this is such a unique spec. I remember my friend Abdullah, he sent me a picture of this in his car's rearview mirror. He has a 435i. He put his car in reverse, and then this thing popped up right in his rear. So he took a picture and he sent it to, uh, to this guy. He opened the Instagram DM, and he thought it was pretty funny. So yeah, great car, great owner. 991 Turbo S with red interior. PDK, obviously, but oh my god, it smells so good. <laughs> I love turbos with all my heart, but I like GT3s a little bit more. Maybe it's because I'm still in my youth and I like the loud, fast, exotic, you know, race car look, but the turbo is the gentleman's supercar, absolutely. Oh, for God's sake, bro, I just spilled coffee on my shirt. <laughs> in your face. Oh, are you serious? Are you okay? <laughs> Dude, I just, I literally just try drinking coffee for some reason it just like came out of everywhere and not even it just got all over me is, is, is it like staying now or like no, you're good you're good it looks like what if you look close to it but no, it was, okay yeah it was I pretty bad but screw this coffee man I, I hate starbucks anyway but okay what were we saying yeah we were talking to travis about this the z06 and he got a really good clip of it uh leaving so go check out his video there'll be a really nice video of it leaving super loud sounds amazing we got this white 720s I've seen countless 720s's, but this spec, it just speaks to me. Full red interior, in track mode. Yes, matching with the red calipers. Oh, this thing is awesome. Huracan, Evo. Super nice color. What's the name of this color? I know it's something like, like Verde Mantis or something. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Something like that, yeah. With the high-vis yellow calipers. Interesting spec. Very green, very bright. With the green interior. Very green coming in from behind we got an Artura a purple Artura very nice a black seven sorry red I don't know why it's black red 765 LT with gold wheels such a cool spec I like this it reminds me of the red wire that I've seen same spec red with gold wheels or bronze I should say and then we got a purple MSO 765 LT aftermarket bronze wheels 5% tints this thing is crazy the wheels I'm a bit iffy, especially with aftermarket wheels on high-end cars, but to each their own. And I think it pulls it off pretty well. Chase just got a clip of me <laughs> spinning around. <laughs> Huracan SEO, white, I've seen this guy as well. Check the Instagram, I have pictures of it. I'll put the Instagram right here, right here. Follow it. I post updates regularly. It's just as active, if not more active than my YouTube. So this, is a turbo slant nose in bronze. It looks so cool. I've seen this guy at a Porsche Club of America get together, and when he rolled in, everyone stopped what they were doing and stared because this thing is incredibly loud, and it sounds so good. It pops and it bangs, and it just, it looks so cool. Manual, of course, but no, this thing is just 
it's insane. I, I, I hope I get a clip of it leaving because you just have to hear the insanity that this thing is. It, it's awesome. This is such a cool car. Every time I come to Market Street, this guy's here, so I assume he lives maybe in the area. I don't know if you've seen the guy around on I've the streets. Seen shows, but I'm not sure. Okay, okay, but I have seen this guy a few times. Golf blue with orange. Sure, like the Golf livery 3.2. <laughs> Look at the shoot on this Supra. Oh, oh my god, I, <laughs> I did not. That sounds nice. That sounds really nice. Dude, no, look at the size of those look at tires. The, look at the no, yeah, the shoot, the tires. All right, look, hold on, hold on. Before I see the engine, before I see the engine, look at what? that, bro. What is that? All right, all right. This is, I think this is the only appropriate time to be a 12-year-old super fanboy and you say that this thing is probably packing, let's say, a thousand horsepower. Oh. Yeah, I think now is the appropriate time to say that. <laughs> It's the biggest I, I've ever dude, seen. Dude, I don't even know what's it. It's fully built block, I assume. Look at the si bro. Look at the size of the turbo and the air intake. It's at least five inches across. Dude, yeah, the injectors and uh, heat wrapping. Look at the size of the plenum. All right, this thing is mad. This thing sounds awesome. You know me guys, I love the top of a V8. Oh, so nice. Challenger. <laughs> you got a purple Challenger like this. This is, if I were to have, you know, a Challenger of this era, I would have it in this purple. It's just so quintessentially, so Mopar, so Dodge. Yep. Oh, the Carrera RS is leaving. STO leaving. I think I would rather have an STO, maybe, then a base of Ventador. Maybe. Would you guys? Come in. I need to know. I've argued with my friend about this at 430. Spectacular. Sounds so good. Just sounds so good. This R8, uh, again, is in my, I guess, this is my third or fourth video in a row with this, with this car. But no, I didn't even know it had red interior. The window tints are so dark. Now I know what color the interior is, but yeah. Oh, finally he's opened up the uh, the hood, and it looks to me like the standard engine. It probably isn't. Oh, that super turned on. Okay, let's check that out. Uh, the R8, cool, cool color. Check out my previous two videos if you haven't already. This car is in it. Look at the amount of people gathered around to see this thing leave. This area, which we just went down the entire way, is like the, the main, like the main event, the main cars and stuff. There's an un, another entire side uh, across the street, not across the street, but I guess across like the, there's like a, a field. So we're gonna go check that out, maybe if you want, I don't know, just for a little bit. Oh yeah. Just, yeah, just to see what there is. Um, we have a few more cars here, 458 Speciale. Absolutely perfect car. There is nothing wrong with this car. Perfect. A great 458 with silver roof, two-tone, I love it. Black AMG, every time I come here, this guy's here, I love the red roof. I'm thinking of doing that, or we're thinking of doing that with the 911 since we have all black with red calipers and red seatbelts. Or red roof, maybe? A red roof could be. That would look uh, good down, a, I think. It would look good. Well, I, think, yeah, I don't, well, I don't, know, how, down. I don't good, know how it would look. Um, there's no picture on the internet, except that there's one picture on the internet of our car with the red roof. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll make a video about that. I should, yeah. I'll make a video about that, but we don't have the roof yet, right? So, until then, it's just speculation, but we got an R35 rolling out. Oh, such a sweet little sound. And then also, yeah, the Vicek package GT3 RS right there in lizard green with the lizard green wheel rims, wheel lips, and the lizard green calipers. There's that thing. I love it. It sounds so good. It's so aggressive. Obviously, you can imagine whenever this guy pulled up at the, at the Porsche Club of America get together, all of the purists were kind of side eyeing it, right? But me, I'm, I guess I'm a semi purist, but that thing is cool. It goes against all purism, but it's so cool. I love it, man. I love it. But you can imagine the, you know, the polarity of the two reactions between the two types of crowds, right? But it is what it is. Cool car. And uh, I think this is it for this row, right? And the Shelby truck there. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's it for, for this truck. How much did you say what? 700 
Yeah, that thing is. Yeah, that thing is hacking. Um, oh, he's opening it up. I'm packed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's actually really cool. Yeah, that's 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 cool. This is the Viper that we saw at Cars and Coffee last time, where uh, the belly dancing music was playing, you remember that? It's really weird. Oh, I do, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then we saw this car at the same time, but yeah, uh, that's how I remember that car. I don't, know, I don't know why my mind works like that, but we got the coppers rolling in. Also, I found out why we refer to police as cops. It's because their badges in, in like England, in like the 1800s, they are made of copper, right? Oh. So. They were referred to as coppers, and then, you know, slang, cop, the cops. I just learned that, so, if you ever wonder why we refer to these as cops, it's because their bags are made of copper. Why do we call them pigs? Uh, I don't know what the name of this color is. It's cool, I like it. I think it's the same one that they put on the R8. I really like it, aftermarket wheels. Fat tires, fat tires, I like fat tires. Fat tires look good. Got a super rolling out, following a, uh, an R35. We got a 987. Uh, Cayman S with the lobster fork wheels and little did I know actually I looked up and I did some research these are not the same wheels as on ours we have the 19 inch lobster forks these are the 18 inch so the Cayman gets a one inch smaller wheels um, and the 997 gets the bigger wheels I guess right but you know it's a great car I like the Cayman it started to grow on me I used to not like it at all but lately, and lately, I have been appreciating it more and more, especially, you know, for the mid-engine and the small compactness of it. Um, I've been appreciating the 987, especially a lot. E92 M3. Oh, man. Do you think there should be another V8 M3? Yeah. 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 Now check out this loud beast. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> um... This is interesting. It's an e-tron, slammed e-tron on aftermarket wheels. You know, I respect it. You know, I, I dig it, I dig it. It's I, something completely different. Sounds nice. I respect the man who did it because he's the only one in the world that would ever want to do that. Yeah, this guy is definitely the only person on the planet to have done this, <laughs> maybe. Most likely, but <laughs> you know what? It's pretty cool. Guys, you know what? I like, I like really, dark colors like this, ones that you might miss, ones that you might not see if you don't look straight at it because I almost didn't see this thing. It almost didn't catch my attention from a mile away. Um, obviously, I'm kidding. This thing is ridiculously bright, but I like it. It's so, it's so different, you know? Look at the size of the splitters and the canards. Bright, bright orange, Audi-esque he uh, headlights, wide body kit, carbon fiber look handles. Wow, this thing is pretty cool. And we got a right-hand drive Toyota here. I'm not, honestly, I'm not too sure what exactly it is. It's a chaser. Okay, Toyota chaser, right-hand drive, automatic. Pretty cool car. Chaser. Chaser. Yeah. The chaser. the chaser. Oh, look, it still has the, the Japan Cargo Tally Corporation. There was a challenger in the S3, I, I believe they're friends. They're Saiwan Studios SQ5. I got a Viper oh. RT10. I don't know. Tell me that doesn't kind of resemble like a Firebird. Is it not a Firebird? It's an RX-7. What? No. So I, I kind of saw the front and I thought it was an RX-7 and then I saw the rear and it's like, ah, that's a Firebird. Right hand drive, RX-7. Yeah, yeah, Jason I thought was a Firebird. Nice, oh, look at the antenna. Oh, that's so cool. It's through the... <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, he put it through the wind. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I was looking at this Mercury Bobcat because it's 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 definitely different. And then this guy turns his car on. Pretty damn loud. I've never seen an Escalade slammed like this. Super wide, black on black with red calipers. Super cool, man. And it sounds, oh man, it sounds awesome. I never thought I'd like an Escalade that slammed with an aftermarket exhaust. 
sounds cool, man. Sounds real cool. There's Chase getting some uh, some footage <laughs> for his Instagram. He's a wealthy guy making the best out of his wife and kids. Yeah. <laughs> he sold them for that. Yeah. <laughs> G82 M4 competition. So cool. M heritage emblems all over the place. Red interior. Wow. Just wow. Just wow. I mean. It's just, just such a cool car. It's an X-Drive as well. Um, me personally, I would have rear-wheel drive. But X-Drive, cool. This thing is gonna launch like a monster. Cool spec, light gray with the red interior. Real nice, we got a TT RS, I believe. Yeah, TT RS there. And after this, it's uh, a whole lot of nothing except Chase standing there. Beautiful man. Get that out. Go, that no. <laughs> and by the way, for those of you who don't know, this is Market Street. It's a beautiful little place. I like it. It's a nice place to bring, you know, your family and some friends and stuff. And except Thursday nights, there's too many kids and the music sucks. All right. Well, keep that in mind if you ever want to come. <laughs> don't come Thursday night because the music sucks apparently. Um, but here's like the uh, the second event there and the main event over there. But yeah, it's a really nice place. I like it. Um, unfortunately, the only bad thing about this place is. I live in Sugarland, and it is a 50-minute drive uh, from Sugarland, so it's quite far. I live in South Houston, and this is North Houston, and this is where Chase lives, so it's quite far away. But you know, nothing I wouldn't do for you guys. There's a Riviera Blue 992 Turbo S. Oh God! So, it's just so cool, man. I wouldn't normally put this in the video of Rolls Royce because. I personally don't really believe they're of, you know, of car meat classification, but definitely this spec, it just deserves to be in it because it's so perfect. If I were to get a Conan, I might copy this exactly. The nice jade green with the orange calipers and the white interior with the contrasting orange accents. It's just, it's just so elegant. It's just so nice huge wheels it's a huge car I mean it I just like it I really like it I've kind of always liked the Cullinan I used to not I kind of do now it's still kind of an iffy thing but this one this one's made me like it a lot back again at the, at the Chase Mobile he left his $100 bill um, it, exposed for any robbers to steal yeah no he literally left a $100 bill just on his seat right there I mean you can't see because he has like literally mirrored windows basically 25. 25? No way, it's 25. No, no, it's... What's the legal limit here? 25. Is the lowest you can go. It's 25. No, it's either 30 or 25. Dude, this is like 10. No, it, it's like, been... I've been pulled... I got pulled over twice. Like you can see the reflection. I got pulled over twice in two days, and I checked it both times. It was like 30 or 25. Oh. Oh, okay. Then... Yeah, you, it you just, Oh, it might be the lighting or something. Like yeah, oh no, screw the front plate. I know. You need one in Texas too, right? But... You need one, but they're probably a lot more... Uh, yeah, I mean, he's a uh, dickhead state trooper. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, we got pulled over in the Mazda for not having front plate because the cop had to meet the end of month quota. You know how it is, guys. You know how it is. But yeah, this is a Chase Mobile with an interesting thing in the trunk. I can't show you guys, but <laughs> it's pretty funny. It, it's, I like it. I like it. But yeah, we just came back for, for him to get his money and see if it didn't fall on the floor. Um, and it didn't, thankfully. But we're going to go. I'm going to see if I can get a thumbnail for you guys because everyone's got to get a thumbnail, right? And uh, I'll do that. And then I think that'll be it for this meet. Guys, if you don't follow my Instagram, it's right here. Let me see if it's, there we go. Some, somewhere around here. Go follow it, guys. Uh, I post updates, like I said, regularly. But here we are, coming in from the back again. One more quick trip, and the, oh, the 765 is leaving. Really nice, like purple with orange. And then this one, like I said, red with bronze wheels. Oh, man. It's, it's cool, I like it. And then we got the purple one with the bronze wheels. Aftermarket exhaust, I believe. Yeah, rift exhaust. This is the same one that was shooting flames. <laughs> the same one that was shooting flames at the Mana Machine meet. I'll put a clip in right here, because you gotta hear it. You just gotta hear it, here we go. All black. 
I love it. A Barth? Look at the cool little Barth. I like these little things, you know? There's a DB11 and a, uh, a 992 turbo right there. Turbo S. Um, but yeah, I think for now, guys, that's it. I think we've seen everything right. There's pretty much nothing else to see. Testarossa. There, yeah, there's a Testarossa right there. But uh, yeah, we got these few cars here. And the America. I will not take this for granted. I am so lucky that I got to see this thing. Only 16 in the world right now. <sighs> so cool. But anyway, that's it for today, guys. Um, if you liked the video, leave it a like if you liked it. Subscribe. If you didn't like it, don't subscribe and leave a dislike, please. But I'm glad you guys watched. Thank you if you made it this far. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all on the next one.